Now, there's not going to be a new tutorial this week, but I wanted to thank the Linux Whiz Kid for giving a shout out to me and sending some of his subscribers my way. And I wanted to thank all you guys who subscribed to me from the Linux Whiz Kid's uh, recommendation. Now, this week I've been working on XDMX. Now, what that is, is basically allowing you to use another computer like an old laptop or some other old system you have as a second monitor for your main workstation. Now I do have it working but it's kind of slow so I'm working on ways to speed it up and make it uh, a lot faster and easier to use and uh, this is almost done. I'm like this close but it's been really crazy at work for me this week. Uh, we've been working on a new movie. It's been very exciting. So I haven't had a lot of time to work on this, but I'm going to finish it up this weekend. And Monday, I'll have it all working, and I'll have the tutorial up. I'll show you guys how to do this. Now you can see here, I have my main monitor. And then over here, I have an old laptop. So let's open up a terminal. Now that opens up just fine, and you see here's the cool part. What? What? Oh, it's on my laptop. Wow, now that is cool. Let's bring it back. What? Oh, halfway in between? Okay. Oh, all the way back. Awesome. As you can see, it's a little laggy, which would be expected. It is being transferred over the Ethernet. I don't have a gigabit Ethernet switch here or gigabit Ethernet card in my old laptop, um, which is kind of a bummer. But it does work. There are a couple other bugs I'm trying to work out, but I'm, I would have to say I'm 90% there. And like I said, Saturday I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to get the tutorial up Monday. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this with an old laptop. You can basically do this with any old computer you have. Very cool. So thanks again to the Linux Whiz Kid, And thank you guys for subscribing. So Monday I'm going to show you guys how to set up XDMX. Also known as just DMX. No, not the wrapper. Um, it's an X environment for your Linux system. I was also reading that it should work on any machine that's able to run X. For example, Mac OS. Um, and you know you can get an X environment running uh, on Windows machines through like SigWin or something. I don't know if this would work with that. Maybe, maybe not, probably not. But it does definitely work in Linux, and as you can see, it's working. It's awesome. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Show you guys Monday how to do this. So tune in Monday. Thanks.